It is a hot one today, and it's only going to get hotter, and not just because I have Kelsey Lair sitting in here with me. Thanks for having us in your home. I'm Amanda Hara. And I am not Ted Hall. I'm Kelsey Lair filling in for Ted today. Local 8 News reporter Sarah Mitchell is out in that hot, hot heat today with a look at how to beat it. And Sarah, I think a lot of people have probably asked this at some point. I know hey, I have what's better, Gatorade, Powerade, water. How do you tell? Today, you're going to need even more water. All right, how is it that she doesn't look like she's sweating at all? I was just thinking that. I think I need a fan to carry around with me at all times, like a mobile unit. I'm more of like a rag. I just need a rag to absorb <laughs> it all. Just dab. <laughs> yeah. All right, after today, I think we can finally say summer is definitely official. Yeah, meteorologist Heather Haley is in the Weather Center now with a first look at our forecast. All i got to say is, ladies, I'm seven months pregnant. I know. You, you need to stay right here in the air-conditioned studio. Okay. I win. How's in store for your weekend? Who knew that the dab could also be <laughs> the dab we with a towel for the sweat on your face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just making new dance moves over here. You Don't guys are us. just so creative. What would I do without you? I know. <laughs> Heather, thanks. All right, not going to lie. Ted and Lauren. We're on the water. We'll see you then. Wonder if Lauren will jump into the water in her pants again. I don't think she can go through two phones. Yeah, that, that, that did cost her a phone. Yeah, it did. <laughs> All right, it is Friday, everybody. All right, Jerry, thanks. We are still following a developing story out of Hamblin County. The search for Jeff Hanna, who was hiking when he jumped into Cherokee Lake and never resurfaced, is over. Hanna's body was found this morning. Yeah, police say a couple from Virginia noticed his body while they were out fishing this morning. Local late news reporter Donovan Long learned about Jeff's life and the things that he loved. Donovan. In Police are still on the lookout for a man they say is armed and dangerous. Asante Harris is accused of trying to murder his girlfriend last year. Now, we tried to talk to that girlfriend today, but she didn't want to comment. There are several warrants out for Harris's arrest. He was last seen wearing a white shirt and a red bandana. If you see him, police say don't walk up to him. Call 911 immediately. He is considered armed and dangerous. Dallas Love Field Airport is back open after a police-involved shooting that led to a lockdown earlier this afternoon. Investigators think a domestic dispute prompted the shooting. Some witnesses told police they saw a man attacking a woman in a car, then charged a responding officer with a rock. The officer then shot the man. Police say the officer will be put on administrative leave during an investigation. Now, some travelers went through security without being checked, so everyone had to be rescreened after the airport reopened. And Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are both in Washington, D.C. today. Now they're trying to rally their bases at two separate conferences. Now, Wee Zhang Zhang is in Washington with the latest in the race for the White House. CBS News, Washington. Were you a supporter of Donald Trump's presidential campaign and still looking for Mr. or Mrs. Wright? Yes. Well, <laughs> Amanda is. You're in luck. This is TrumpSingles.org. Yes, it exists. The online dating service for those who hope Trump is the next president. Their slogan, well, what else? Make dating great again. Their goal, to bring together like-minded people who are just looking for the one. Very original idea. Why, why didn't we think of this? I know. It's always stuff like that that you're like, right? oh. The most obvious thing. Exactly. <laughs> the most obvious. <laughs> Well, thousands turned out today to say their goodbyes to Muhammad Ali. They lined the streets of Louisville, Kentucky, starting early this morning. It really was a sight to see. It's a service that Ali himself planned years ago. We're going to talk about how he's being remembered as more than just a boxer. And in just about eight minutes, if you're heading to the Smokies game tonight, you may notice their uniforms look a little bit different. We'll tell you why coming up. Well, sad news today out of the hockey world. Mr. Hockey, Gordy Howe, has died at 88 years old. Howe was considered to be one of the greatest hockey players of all time. He was born in Canada and entered the NHL in 1946 at the young age of 18. Howe retired from the NHL in 1971, but returned for a little while in the 1979-80 to 80 season. That return made him the oldest player to ever play in the NHL. Always tracking. Always alerting. Local 8 weather. All right, we didn't get picked to go to our town, but that's fine because we're having our own fun. Heather and I made a music video, and it's on Instagram. <laughs> it's out of control. Just go to at a Hera. She's so proud. And of watch this. your heart out. Let me just say mm -hmm. that Kelsey, you missed it. I literally yeah. walked into work, and Amanda was like, "I had the greatest idea ever." You know, she'd been plotting it since she oh, heard yeah. you're probably filming. Right? In. Yeah, she was like, "What happened?" <laughs> yeah, because you're the only so. one that will play with me. <laughs> By next weekend. All right, Heather. Thanks. 
Well, if you're going out to the Tennessee Smokies game tonight, you'll see them in a different uniform than usual. Yeah, they're going to be wearing pink jerseys in honor of breast cancer survivors. They're actually going to stop the game during the third inning to allow those survivors to get on the field and walk the bases. Money raised will support Susan G. Komen in Knoxville. The organization keeps 75% of its funds locally for cancer screenings and to support people diagnosed with breast cancer. There will also be a pink jersey auction tonight. And on Monday, a big event is considered the biggest factor in developing skin cancer. But now some other factors could make those right rates rise in young people. We'll tell you how coming up. 8% survival rate. Muhammad Ali was laid to rest today, but there is a local boxing gym that is keeping his legacy alive, and you learn more about that today, Kelsey. Yeah, today I actually went by the gym and caught up with its owner and his daughter to find out how the greatest inspires them. And with those temperatures going literally through the roof, you need to make sure you're staying hydrated. And no, beer does not count. Tips on that and how to keep your kids safe in this hot weather when we come back. Ali was buried in his hometown of Louisville, Kentucky, but here in East Tennessee, his legacy is still living. I went to a local boxing gym today to see how he's inspiring both present and future boxers. Ali. Emmy is working on a school project right now on Muhammad Ali. Her teacher asked her to choose a person who inspired her, and who else would she choose but the greatest of all time? Well, that'll help you make your plans around this heat coming up. All right, thanks, Heather. Well, school's out for the summer, and it may not officially be summer yet, but it certainly will feel like it this weekend, and many people will be out and about at maybe the pool or the lake today. Now, what other ways can you keep your kids safe out of that sun? Local late news reporter Sarah Mitchell at the river now. Sarah, I bet you're pretty close to taking a dip. <laughs> what other options do we have? It's a miracle if you don't lose everything in a natural disaster, and the last thing you want is someone coming in and taking your stuff. Up next, find out how cops caught up with a group of flood looters. And sausage or mushroom pasta sounds pretty good, but ice cream, not so much. But some love it. We'll show you a new trend in artisanal ice cream in about eight minutes. Talk about adding insult to injury. What they didn't lose to a natural disaster was taken by looters. It just happened in one flooded neighborhood in Rosenberg, Texas. The suspects were caught thanks to neighbors looking out for each other. Tracy Clemens has the story. Okay, so we just learned how hot it's going to be, how hot it's getting. Some people reach for the ice cream. I doubt they're going for the sausage and mushroom ice cream. Yeah, not exactly my taste, but whatever works <laughs> for you all. You can find all of those interesting flavors at an ice cream shop in New York. Karina Mitchell has a look. Karina Mitchell for CBS News, Brooklyn, New York. Hmm, they could trick people with those flavors. Because they look normal. They do look normal, but maybe they just not label them and see how business goes. Yeah. Ooh, I don't want to be there. <laughs> that's for sure. All right, the Tonys, just a few days away. Hamilton, that's the big favorite this year. Yeah, up next, we'll take you behind the scenes with the cast of the hit hip-hop historical musical. Well, the Tony Awards are this Sunday, and the musical Hamilton is likely to be a big winner. Yeah, Marley Hall went behind the scenes with a highly acclaimed cast as they look ahead to Broadway's biggest night. From WVLT, this is Local 8 News. Stay smart in the heat this weekend by knowing the signs of trouble to watch for. And she's a 12-year-old contender in the ring. Hear how Muhammad Ali inspires this local athlete. The search for a man who went under a Cherokee lake is over. A couple fishing found his body this morning. Thanks for having us in your home tonight. I'm Amanda Hara. And I'm Kelsey Lair in for Ted Hall. Police say 21-year-old Jeff Hanna is the man who drowned on Monday. Local 8 News reporter Donovan Long spoke with Hanna's good friend. And Donovan, you learned a lot about his life today. Yeah, absolutely. That's Legal theories. Well, we just turned on the fan in the studio, so yeah. I can't even imagine what it must feel like right now outside. By the way, director Jonathan tried to turn it off. What was he thinking? He was trying to <laughs> you got him. box us out of the studio with heat. I think he was just trying to show you how it feels outdoors. Yes. Just trying to, you know, cut off the... I can tell you, I stepped outside. All right, Heather, thanks. Maybe you're one of those people that like saunas. Free sauna all weekend. Just go outside. That's the silver lining in all it of this. It is the silver lining. Just trying to keep that. it in perspective. <laughs> well, if you plan to be outside this weekend, it is a good idea to go ahead and pack a water cooler. Yeah, local late news reporter Sarah Mitchell is where a lot of people are probably going to be this weekend, right there on the water. But Sarah, we actually need to drink bottled water, not just swim in it. To find some shade and take a little bit of a timeout.
All right, legendary boxer Muhammad Ali was buried today in his hometown of Louisville. Thousands of people lined the streets to honor his life and his legacy, and it really was kind of a sight to see. Yeah, the great one, as he's called, left a mark on people all over the country, including right here in East Tennessee. I went out to a Knoxville boxing gym today where the owner tells me he incorporates Muhammad Ali's techniques into all of his lessons. But he doesn't just focus on Ali, Ali's backpedal or shuffle. He stresses the importance of Ali's strength outside of the ring as well. He's like the big thing. Emmy is just 12 years old and she's already qualified to compete at nationals this summer in Dallas, Texas. That is pretty cool to see her in the ring. Yeah, I mean, well, she could, she could really ring, just get it. Yeah, that would be interesting to see her actually compete, mm -hmm. too. All right, are you a golfer? No. No. <laughs> but if you are, here's your chance to show up my co-anchor, Ted Hall. You can't pass that out. That's still ahead on Local 8 News. Yeah, we're going to talk more about why he is all about tee-up time on Monday for Great Cause. But right after this break, we're exploring local fun for families and history buffs. And here's how your Friday played out several degrees. I think right now we're just looking at the Henley Street Bridge. It's pretty, it's, it's nice out there. It is nice. It would be nice. It, it would be better if I was swimming in it, though, I think. Yeah. Although we're not hot. We're in the studio. I think Sarah Mitchell would love to swim in that right now, though. I can't believe we didn't <laughs> see her doing a backstroke just then. <laughs> but the Secret City Festival happening in Oak Ridge. Local 8 News anchor Lauren Davis shows us some unique World War II mem memorabilia that you can see if you go out. Why my co-anchor Ted Hall practicing his swing relentlessly for the Ted and Jerry Golf Classic coming up on Monday. And it's not too late for you to sign up if you want to help out a great cause. Yeah, the Ted and Jerry Golf Classic coming up at Holston Hills Country Club features... All right, so we're packing our bag for the weekend. We've got extra hairspray ladies. We've got water, sunscreen. Y'all stay hydrated. And a floaty. Have a great night. We'll see you back here at 11. What is this floaty? That's a floaty.